Hey, good morning. I'm going to quickly go over how to do this kind of bent wire right here, how we're going to simulate that in Inventor. So this part right here, uh, looking at it by itself, it's just going to end up looking like that. What we're going to end up using is this sweep feature right here. Sweeps one or more sketch profiles or a solid tool body along a selected path to create a feature or body. So with this sweep feature, you actually have to have two sketches, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to make a new sketch here real quick. Whether it's millimeters or inches, doesn't really matter. All right, so our first sketch we're going to do is just the circle, just the little diameter of our wire. So I'm going to hit Start Sketch. I'm going to pick one of these planes, doesn't really matter. But when you're making this drawing, you're going to have one drawing going one way and one drawing going perpendicular to that or one sketch going one way one sketch perpendicular so you're going to end up using two of these planes right here so I'm going to just pick one doesn't matter since it's going to be a wire I'm going to make it a circle and let's just make my diameter I don't know, eighth of an inch so one slash eight or you can put 0.125 same thing and I'm going to hit finish sketch now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the path for that wire to follow and I'm going to make it perpendicular to this and making it run through the center here. So I'm just going to show you what that means. So I'm going to start a new sketch. This is my original one so I'm going to turn and I'm going to do it right here on this one because it's going to have to go through the middle of that circle. It's right here so I can't see it but I know it's right here. If I turn a little bit it's right there. All right, so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to use the line tool and you know you can come over here you can make it exactly how you want it to be I'm just going to come over and I'll let's say 1.5 um, these measurements you'll have to figure out your measurements for your own design um, it doesn't really matter yeah I'm just gonna make these measurements I'm gonna come down here and I know I want to end up back in the middle on this axis here and I'm just gonna go over here and let's add a little handle all right all right so when I'm done I can hit enter um, if I if you want to you can kind of round these over use this fillet tool so let's just do I don't know a half an inch fillet let's see what that looks like that's too big let's do a quarter of an inch that looks good so I can use this fillet tool that will kind of round it over. And let's just leave that one like that. All right. And I'm going to hit finish sketch. So now I have two sketches. Sketch one is this circle. Sketch two is the path it's going to follow. Oh, I didn't fill it that. We can always edit that. Just double click on your sketch. Fill it. Add that. OK. And so now I'm going to use this sweep. So I'm going to hit sweep. It's going to ask for two things. First one is your profile. The second one is your path. So it may have already selected your profile, in which case it wants you to select the path. The path is this one right here. So if I zoom out, if I click on that, you'll see it will automatically give you a little preview of what that's going to look like. You can play around with some of these buttons right here, some of them. You know, it might change the way it looks. Um, you know, if you wanted to get fancy, add some taper. Doesn't really make sense for this right here, but uh, when I hit OK, now I've got that kind of bent wire right there. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you need to go back and edit it, you'll notice back here on the left side, it all falls under sweep. So if I wanted to go in and change this, I can hit this little plus, and I can double click on sketch two let's say instead of an uh, inch and a half let's say I needed that two inches so I can come back here I can edit it to hit finish and it'll update itself okay. so that's how you make that bent wire let me know if you have any questions on doing that you can add some pretty colors to it let's just make it uh, oh no oh, my computer's gonna die looks good gold <laughs>